Yeah, it was just general sort of stuff to start with, you know, how's the weather there, um, he was in Afghanistan, um, told them they do a great job, you know, all sort of just general stuff that you chat about um, to start with, you know, what your hobbies are and all that sort of stuff. So that went on for quite a few weeks. And, and um, who did he tell you that he was? Or he told me that he was a, a captain in the US Army and over in Afghanistan. Um, the pictures that he sent me were of a, a, a US soldier that was a captain. Um, yeah. Mm. So, at the stage you've got no reason to disbelieve that, or you think you've, you've found a, a new friend to communicate? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And we built a relationship and became friendly, and um, it all sort of started from there. And I had no reason to disbelieve anything he was saying um, at that stage. Mm. Um, a couple of months into it, I got um, an offline message saying, I need to talk to you urgently. Um, and that's when I got online, spoke to him on Yahoo Messenger. He was the one to suggest to move from Facebook to Yahoo Messenger. Um, and then he was telling me about a story of him and five other cap uh, him and four other captains that uh, supposedly found some money in a cave and detained some Taliban, and it was about fifty million dollars. They decided to keep it and um, divvied it up. And his story was his ten million which was in a metal box that he wanted to send me, he was safe keeping to take back to the US Army, uh, government and give it back to, back to them. Um, yeah, so it just went on from there. And I sort of started to get a bit scared. I told him, you know, you shouldn't touch stuff that's not yours. And he explained how, well, it's US money anyway because it was US dollars. And he told me I didn't know anything about how military um, processes worked, which was just fair enough because I didn't. Um, so I had no reason not to believe him, and he said he was coming, he was leaving in a month and was going to come to me anyway, and he could pick the box up then. So, um, yeah, I, I just started to get scared from that stage. So at this point, though, he, he's, he's started to ask you for assistance? Assistance, yeah. yeah to, Purely to just to receive, receive that mm. on his part, um, look after it until he could pick it up. Um, yeah, so I, I went down those lines. But then I got phone calls from, he said it went out on a Red Cross jet from Kabul to um, London and then it was being handed over to a diplomat and it was the diplomat's duty to bring it to my door and hand it to me. The diplomat supposedly like, contacted me um, and said not enough fees were paid, um, so there was $3,000. So I argued with him a bit and in the end he talked me around and I paid that. But every time it got to another stage it just kept going on and on and on. I like to trust people but in this day and age you just, you just can't trust people and especially people you don't know. And I, I would just say, be very, very careful about who you're talking about, uh, talking to rather, on, on the internet, um, any sort of web page, um, because it just seems that they're ruthless, they'll do anything, and, and their only um, motive is to get money from you. And whether it's a dollar or a few thousand dollars, yeah, that, that's all they want from you. So be very careful. At first it made me feel ashamed that something had, uh, like that had happened, because I am a strong woman. Um, yeah, you feel gullible, you go through all the emotions, anger. Um, yeah, but at the end I've just told myself I'm only human, um, I'm a caring person and yeah, it won't happen again, definitely not.